everyone, it's Kidu, and I'm just sitting with you doing an unboxing of the Xenoblade Chronicles Special Edition on Switch. So it's supposed to come with the game and a big ass art book. I'm very excited. You know, I should have done this video a long time ago. I didn't. So I'm doing it now. I was tempted to just not do the video because the game's been out for a while already, but I didn't want to leave it undone. Like I just wanted to finish it and move on. So I'm still going to unbox it here. And this is what the box looks like. That was the front. This is the back. It has this lovely like holographic foil writing with some spot gloss on the box. We have the game and the art book that it shows in the back. We have this side of the box again, that really pretty holographic writing. We've got Nintendo on this side and both sides of the box show Xenobid Chronicles. I guess this is, sorry, the definitive edition, which I forgot to mention. So we are going to open it on up now. Again, please, I, I guess I didn't say it in this video, but I posted another video recently that I said the same thing. Please bear with me when it comes to the um, placement when it comes to the setting of my video at the moment, I'm trying to figure out where filming works best with my new tripod slash ring light. So we will, we will see how that goes. As of right now, I am currently just sitting on the floor at this little table. This isn't a table. This is like an end table, like a nightstand. Um, this is what the inside of the box looks like. I'm seeing a lot of cardboard and then the art book right here. So this is the art book. We have again the beautiful holographic it's upside down holographic title along the side right here. Same thing on this side, which is which is right side up. <laughs> this. This is right side up. That's the one side. This is the other side here. I'm going to set this guy down. I actually think the art book comes with a slip cover. Oh, here we go. I was wondering why this wouldn't come out. Okay, so now we've got the whole center out. So, it was packaged in this, like so. This opens here, and then we have the slip cover for the art book. As you'd seen, the art book just kind of slid out for me. So this is both sides and the spine. <laughs> so the spine of the box, it is this way. Everything's upside down. These sides are just red. And then we have this side as well. I don't know what I'm talking about. And the art book slips on in here. So I am going to slide it on in. Oh, that is very nice. Very, very nice. I didn't realize that it came with a outer slip box or slip cover box for the book. So I'm very happy that that is included. The game is just here in the center. Here we have it. Xenoblade Chronicles. Definitive edition. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> and here is the back. I'm not sure if the regular edition, I mean, I'm pretty sure the regular edition has a different thing on the back here. So the special edition comes with just Shulk standing there all fashionably. Where the regular edition probably just has um, some screenshots, the info of the game, all that jazz. Finally got this open. I like to keep the plastic intact so I can slide it back in so that the case doesn't get scratched up. Today was a success with taking this off. Normally it is not. Normally it just tears, but I try my best. So the inside of the game looks like this. This is the game case. The art on the inside is this lovely piece. So here is the artwork on the inside. The main flap. Very, very pretty. I'm 
game is here my camera will not focus it just says xenoblade chronicles definitive edition of course switch up top rating whatnot pretty basic cartridge i am going to put that away in my switch case so that i can play it when i feel free so i'm gonna open this guy up and then we will do a flip through of it it is all a matte book which is very pretty you can hear it's madness okay so don't mind me i moved to a new table we're going to be doing the full flip through of this guy right here this is what the book looks like up a little closer i'm gonna flip it around my setup here is super awkward so please don't mind the ugly purple shirt that is keeping the book from getting scratched from the bottom unfortunately the book fully open does not fit the frame so i'm gonna be doing some weird maneuvering to kind of show you guys the whole book so this is what the inside looks like it is actually like a silvery metallic paper very very nice so this might contain spoilers as a warning if you guys don't want any spoilers i actually haven't looked through this book yet and i have not played the game yet so i am putting myself up to some spoilers as well in case there is anything again i'm not positive because i haven't played the game and i haven't seen this full book but that is something to keep in mind if you want to continue this video so it looks like we have some words from some of the creators Interesting. Okay, so it's one in English and one in French. You don't see that that often. Looks like the first section is characters. So we've got Shulk himself. Some more shulk this is a pretty hefty book so this video might be a little longer than i had originally anticipated it is literally like 4 30 5 a.m i don't know i haven't checked in a while so here we have some alternate outfit designs even more outfit designs Again, the most I really know about Shulk, I do own this on 3DS, but I never ended up playing it. And since it's on Switch now, I might as well play it on Switch whenever I have the time to actually play it. We've got more outfits here. Um, but the most I know about it is just Shulk himself, and he's in Smash. So, wow, there's a lot of character outfits for Shulk in particular. I don't know if these are all available in game. You guys can let me know in the comments below if you know um, if all of these clothes are, or at least most of them are actually available in game. That'd be neat. So we got Flora here. Ooh, that's a cool outfit. If you're a lady, you always gotta have open legs, right? That's not. That came out weird. I mean, like open spots on legs. <laughs> open legs, like. Now these are cool. Love this one. I might stay quiet through most of this video. I might comment on a few things that I find stand out. Um, but I'm very tired, so I'm mostly just going to stay quiet. Um, to be honest, I'm actually not personally a big fan of art books that are this shape. I prefer like regular shaped art books versus the really long ones, mostly because I find the long ones are a lot harder to put on your shelf properly because they either stick out too far so they just don't fit a regular shelf and to me that gets very frustrating very quickly. But I will be keeping this one in its box anyways. But that's just my little unpopular opinion there. Rain? Is that his name? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. 
I love when they give guys outfits like this where it's like right up to the neck, but the shoulders are anyways bare. It's good. I like it. I approve. Some big outfits for a big ass boy. Again, if you guys want to just pause to look at certain things, feel free. I'm honestly not even focusing that heavily on <laughs> the art right now because I'm so tired. I'm just kind of like flipping and letting you guys take a look. I own it. I can always look at it later. I don't know who she is, but she's hot. Also, the book smells good, if that's what you guys wanted to hear. I love the smell of, like, laminated pages with ink printed. Ah, so fresh. I'm actually more excited going into the background art, which is weird for me, because generally I'm more focused on character art than background art, but I am just really excited. Who is this beautiful man? Put a beard on a character, and I am here. I am here. Hello. I see you. Is that a scar or a tattoo? I think it's a scar. That's cool. Give me bearded, thick-eyebrowed, scarred men. He sort of looks like Dracula. I'm into it. Very much here for it. He's a handsome man. We're not even at the halfway mark. I think it's around 200 pages. We're not even at. Or maybe it's more than 200 pages. I don't even know. I just want to go to bed, guys. Kind of wing design on her head is pretty cool. <gasps> She's missing a body. <laughs> Was way more energetic earlier in the day i regret filming this now <laughs> i just really 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 want to get it all done <laughs> i filmed some other stuff today as well so i thought you know i'll just film it all at once and then it'll be done and i can take the next day to edit it all and upload and it'll be fine I've heard from other people that this little guy is super annoying. I wouldn't know because I haven't played the game yet, but I am prepared to be annoyed by him. can't wait till we get past all these character like outfits <laughs> um 
I enjoy character art a lot, but I prefer, like, uh, more the facial expressions and, like, the full illustrations. I do really like the, the clothing as well. Like, it's very cool, but there's a lot. And I'm excited to get to the, the more settings and the background art. Why does he look like that wrestler? I forget the wrestler's name. It's fine, I forget everyone's name. We've clearly got some side characters going on. I'm sorry my camera keeps shaking. I keep bumping into it. Who are these people? Are they like actual angels? What's going on? They've got wings coming out of their head or is that just like their outfits? An old little weird creature. Oh my. Now we get a little bit of sketchy stuff. Pawn specters. What is that? Are they merchants or something? Ooh, now we get into the enemies. This is cool. What is this? A bunny with a arm tail that he clubs you with? <gasps> a dragon. That's cool. A frog thing. Ooh, a hyena thing. And a bird thing. I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be a, chim a chimera? That's what they're called. Or a different take on one anyways. Some flying enemies. Ooh, he's cool. I love the like big tusks. <gasps> big winter cow. A cow with antlers. That is right on track for me. He's like those fish, those angler fish. <gasps> Lizard people. This straight up just look, look, looks like Lizalphosis. <laughs> Ooh, now we're getting into the more like the robot mech stuff. I wish I knew what was clicking on my table right now. Jade face.
Some of these are pretty creepy looking. Oh, that's cute. Now we're into the locations. Wait. What? It's like, yes, locations. But then here are some more, like, mech monster thing. Wow, is that actually like a model? That's so cool. Wow. Here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. The settings in this game, from what I've seen around anyways, are gorgeous. And this art is just proving it. This is what I want to see. Very pretty. I love these illustrations with all the characters together. They're kind of like promotionally stuff. Now we're into the weapons and objects section. We've got God the Monado. I believe that's what the sword's called. So I'm just kind of showing you guys the art on the end of the page by doing that so that this is this mostly catches all the art on this page. But I'm just getting tired of holding the book up. <laughs> His art book is really cool though, really showed, showed some neat stuff. Oh my.
Um, I don't think this is supposed to be torn. I could be crazy. If it's meant to be torn, let me know. That's really odd. If you guys also got this edition and this corner is like purposefully torn, I'll feel better. But I'm very uncomfortable that this is wrecked like this. I don't think there's anything I can do about that either because... If this isn't intentional, which I really highly doubt that it is, um, I, I can't return this because it, it, it's too long that it's been released. And so yeah, this might be where some of the spoilery stuff comes in because it's a little more of the storyboard stuff. Um, but yeah, so I it's been too long since it's been released. So I can't really return it or exchange it. There wouldn't be any stock for it anyways. So I'm kind of screwed, I guess. These are mostly just storyboard things. So I'm kind of going to go quickly through these. Because I would really like to sleep. this is pretty cool all the little notes and everything on the storyboards are in Japanese anyways so and I don't really want to look too long at these because I don't really want spoilers but that is the whole art book right there and that is gonna conclude the unboxing so thank you guys so much for watching i will link my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links through city japan and tokyo taco mode if you purchase anything through those links i get a small commission so thank you so much for guys for doing that and those of you done it before i really really appreciate it you guys have a good day or night or wherever you are thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye guys